Well, we're right to the end of April now, and April May time is the time of year where there might be a few cod around. When I say might, the inshore cod fishing in Cornwall is very hit and miss. We have good years and we have bad years. But if there is a few cod around, you can catch them April, catch them May, and you can catch them into June and even into the, uh, into the height of the summer. And it's something that I at least to, like to try and see if I can pick up a few cod. When I look back at my, my records, and I keep records of all trips, definitely this time of year, my records show that I've caught cod. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to head out to a reef and see if there's any fish on it. And then maybe if there's no fish on that reef, if the weather stays all right, I'll head to a reef further out to see if I can find some fish. But if there's no cod around, then of course, um, hopefully I might at least be able to pick up some pollock, but cod is what I'm mainly after. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to split the, the session up into two, two parts. I'm going to fish the first half of the session, seeing if I can pick up cod. But I'm also going to, but I'm then going to fish the second half of the session to see if I can pick up some place. Now I did a, a video a couple of weeks ago where I targeted just place and had a few and again it's, it's the time of year where it's a great time to target them. So I want to, I want to mix it up today. Yeah, target species is cod but also see if I can uh, take advantage of maybe one or two place around. So that's what we're going to do and we'll get out there and uh, hopefully there's a, there's a few fish on some of these reefs. Right, down we go. Absolutely nothing showing down there at the moment, but I'm, I've set the drift, started the drift quite a way off the, off the reef. Um, I've just got to work, also just got to work out the direction of the drift. We're on the ebb tide at the moment. Um, actually this wind, I'm not sure that I will go offshore now. Now I'm out here. This uh, offshore wind is, is a little bit stronger than I, I, I thought and no problem getting out there but uh, I, might, I might struggle to paddle back. It's just something you've got to be careful of. Offshore, offshore winds are great in the fact that they flatten the sea and they're great depending on how far you go out from the, from the shelter of the lee of the land but you start going out a bit further and of course it could be it could be a different story, particularly when you particularly when you need to get back. What I'm doing when I'm after the cod is actually keeping it down the bottom. Slightly different to when you're fishing for pollock, is keep it lower it down the bottom and then just jig it down the bottom. Maybe wind it up a couple of turns and then lower it back down again. As sometimes they'll take on the drop, but basically keep it clo close to the bottom. Whereas, of course, with the pollock, although, of course, you can, you can and do catch pollock that way, you tend to, they tend to sit more off the bottom and you, you draw, the lure, draw the lure up through them. Well, we're into the fish. What I'm, what I'm, it might be a ras actually. There was a, there was an in, initial dive, and now it's gone a bit dead. It, it could be ras. Um, I don't know. Oh no, pollock. Well, that's unusual for a pollock. Pollock normally you, um, you had a really good initial dive, and then. Um, and then it, it went dead. Normally you get a few runs from them and it went dead. It made me think it was a it made me think it was a ras. Well at least we got something. Well not a bad pollock for an inshore reef pollock fairly close to shore. So at least we've got something. So what I'm going to do now, now I've caught this, because we're still in the, um, we're not into the flooding tide yet. I'm going to carry on on this reef for a bit and see, and see what else I can pick up. 
Um, I'm not sure now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if I'd be able to get out to the to the offshore reef. I really wanted to today because there's more chance of a bigger pollock and, and maybe decent sized cod. But this offshore wind, if it drops, I'll go out there. If not, then um, I'm not going to risk it if the if the offshore wind is a bit is a bit too brisk. But at least we got a fish. Well, this is the rig I've got with me. This is what I'm using at the moment. I've got a, a weedless paddle tail lure on as my main lure. And two feet above that, I've got a, a teaser, a sand hill imitation soft plastic. Um, I've got plenty of other lures with me. I've got some jigs, some other paddle tail lures if I want to chop and change. But I've talked many, many times about uh, the teaser and you, that you fish about two feet above your main lure. And that's what the pollock was caught on. Caught on, caught on this sand eel imitation, which is a sluggo, six inch sluggo. Well, another pollock. No cod. Well, I've made the decision now. I'm not going to head further out. There's a there's a few offshore gusts. It's okay when I'm when I'm fairly close to shore here in the lee of the land, um, but when you get a little bit further out, there's there's a few gusts and and it's a fair old paddle to the reef that I was hoping to get out to. And just something for beginners here. You've got to think of these things. Although the, the forecast was not strong winds today, but it's, it's it's straight offshore. But there's a few gusts and. And, and when that gusts are blowing, it, it's hard work paddling back into it. And so if I if I head out there, and the wind picks up, and I've got a fair way to paddle back, and it and it, and it will also be going against the tide as well, and it, it's going to be hard work. So I've made the decision to stay here and uh, keep trying on this reef for a while. And uh, if I if I carry on picking up a few few pollock, that's fine. And then, as I said, um, go and do a bit of place fishing. But yeah, I just I just don't feel comfortable just feeling feeling the the occasional gust that's picking up. Um, I don't feel com comfortable going that going offshore there and uh, um, having to get back. So we're going to stay here. what this is and it is it's a pollock That's quite a nice pollock, inshore reef pollock. And the, the pollock on this reef are never going to be really big pollock. You're probably talking in a range, let's say uh, about three, three to three, 
to maybe four, you might get lucky and get a five pound plus Pollock occasionally, but they're may, mainly around the, the say three, three to four pound mark. But my mind's definitely made up now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this reef rather than uh, go offshore, uh, paddle a mile, mile offshore, even, even if I ca carry on catching a few of these. Um, you never know, I might get lucky and uh, uh, a cod, codlin might turn up. So yeah, that, so that's great. Now, of course, when you come out to do this type of fishing, when you're fishing over a specific mark like a reef, these GPSs with uh, marine charts are an absolute asset, absolutely brilliant. You would struggle, especially some of these small reefs, you would struggle to keep finding them uh, just using landmarks. Um, it, it would be very hit and miss. But a little tip I can give you for anyone who's got one of these Garmin GPS Map 78. Now this has been brilliant. I've had it, oh, it must be getting on to four years now. And it's been brilliant. But back in February, it started playing up. And what happened, it was losing the satellite signal and it wouldn't pick it up again. And so I got it back home and tested it in the garden and again it would, it would pick up the signal then lose it and wouldn't pick it up or wouldn't pick it up at all. So I got onto the internet and done a, done a bit of research and they said about resetting it and, and got, uh, got onto Garmin and they went through all their tests and said, well, it looks like your satellite receiver's gone. You can send it back to us, uh, fine, and we we can uh, we can send you another one, like an exchange one, for actually a really good price for £82.50. When these retail, the retail price is about over £200, although you can pick them up for about £170. So I thought, well, that's great. You know, if I can get another one and it comes with a comes with a guarantee for £82.50, that's fine. But. I, was, I'm use, I use uh, rechargeable batteries and, uh, and the batteries were fully charged when I used it but on another session I was using my uh, recorder, my voice recorder and noticed that the batteries weren't lasting very long where they should and so I thought okay, even though they were fully charged so I thought I wonder if that's the problem with this GPS so what I did I brought some brand new batteries, rechargeable batteries, popped them in it and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So what had happened, that even though the batteries were fully charged, they had deteriorated enough that for some reason they didn't have enough oomph in them to, for the satellite receiver to work. So there's a tip for you, something to, to test. If, you're, if you start losing a signal on a regular basis or it won't pick, it, pick up, get yourself, make, get yourself some new batteries and try that first before you try anything else. And as I said, it's absolutely fine. And doing this type of fishing that I'm doing today, to be honest, I'd be absolutely lost without it. Well, it's gone completely dead on this reef now. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother going off to the, to the offshore reef now, even though it, it has calmed down a bit and that there's not, not so, so many offshore gusts. But it's too late in the day now for, for me to make that trip. So I'm gonna be happy with a few pollock that I've had on this reef. No cod, unfortunately, on this occasion, but We'll give it a go again another time uh, if I can get out. So I'm going to head on inshore now, get the bait rods out, get a couple of bait, get, get some baits down and drift over, over the sand, over the clean ground and see if we can pick up something else, see if we can pick up some place. So I've got the two bait rods out now, dragging the bait along the bottom, and let's hope we can pick 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 something up. 
Um, got the same as I used a couple of weeks ago, if anyone watched that video when I was targeting place. I've got some black lug, some frozen black lug, a little, little bit of black, black lug and a small strip of sand hill. Well this drift fishing over the clean ground with the, with the bait on the bottom, hoping to pick up a, a flatty, hoping to pick up a place, is pretty hopeless at the moment and, and the reason it's hopeless is because of the, the drift and the, the breeze is all over the place. When I started I had that pretty consistent offshore wind and that was fine but now it's, it's coming from different directions. It's gone from offshore to slightly onshore and then it will come from, from the side and then there will be no wind at all. So the, the drift is all over the place. It's, the kayak is sort of just going around in circles and sometimes I'm just not getting, getting any drift at all. And for this type of fishing I like to have a nice, a nice consistent drift, a nice, nice bit of movement. So you know where you are. So what I think I'll do is, is, is abandon this and head back out to that reef that I was fishing earlier, which is not far, far from here. And it's about two hours before high water and, and fish that up to high water or just before. Hope there's a, some fish that have moved on to it and, and see if I can at least pick up another pollock. But uh, pretty hopeless trying to do this type of fishing at the moment. Well, back on the reef now, and as I said, see if we can pick up anything. It's flat as a pancake now. Now, now I wish I'd gone to the offshore reef, uh, but that's just the way it goes. I'm glad I came back onto this reef now. Well, another pollock, and as I said, I'm I'm glad I uh, came back on on this reef. Now um, I think I was wasting my time with the the way I was drifting with the place fishing. So it just goes to show with fishing, you. I think the moral of this trip is that you set you yeah you set out with uh, a plan. You set out with a an idea of what you want to do but it doesn't it doesn't always work out and, and what you've got to do you've got to you've got to sort of assess the situation at the time and and go by your instinct and and, and from past experience and think okay right um, this isn't working um, I'll go and do something else or I'll go and back and back and do what I was doing before so that's great so we'll see, see if we can pick up pick up another one well, it's time for me to call it a day now and head on in. Didn't get the target species today, didn't, didn't get the cob, but never mind. I'll come back another day, another day, weather permitting, and I know I can catch them around this time of year and over the next couple of months, so we'll give it another try. But great to catch the few poll a few pollock, and there's one thing about the inshore reef fishing in Cornwall that you, you can rely on, almost rely on, on at least picking up some pollock and they do offer some great sport on light tackle. But it's been a funny old day today, started with the offshore winds, which, was, which is what I expected, which was what the forecast was. But then there was a few gusts that were stronger than I expected, which, which sort of stopped me uh, wanting to go to the reef that sits, sits much further offshore in deeper water. It put me off doing that. But then the winds just went from all different directions and that sort of messed up the, the drifting for place a bit coming from one direction, then the next direction, then the next direction, then going flat calm. So, but great to get, catch a few park and always great to, to get out here and, and, and look at it now. It's, it's absolutely flat as a pancake, an absolutely beautiful evening. So as always, I've had a, had a lot of fun and uh, caught a few fish and uh, look forward to getting out here next time. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.